This is a Winter Wheat 2018 edition of a deck. Uh, this can be found on tarotcollectibles.com. It's one of our first versions of the Winter Wheat. We went on to do a 2019 version and finally a version called Santa's Helpers, which is our most uh, our, our newest edition of the Winter Wheat, which has a lot of uh, candy canes and elves and you know it's more of a a whimsical kind of Christmas theme this winter wheat edition 2018 was a lot of fun to work on um, as you can see in a lot of the illustrations that uh, we put together uh, I think you I think you can see we had a uh, a fun time creating this deck. At least I hope that that's uh, what comes across. It's um, looking at these cards again. It takes me back to uh, when we first uh, when we first worked on these cards, and I'm really happy with how they've turned out. Even you know a few years later, sometimes when you're working on things. A few years later, you look back and you say, I wish I could have did this differently, or, you know, you could have improved certain things, but I think a lot of these cards here turned out really nice. Um, in this edition, we don't have the titles. I'm sorry, don't have the titles. We don't, I didn't include uh, the numbers. It was more of an intuitive kind of deck mainly for people who are already used to the Wade Smith Tarot. So it's it's a bit different in that in that regard. Um subsequent editions of the Winter Weight then has uh numbers and titles. But this version doesn't have uh have those in the back of these are red these are red ones. So, um, this is a deck of cards that has been one of our very best sellers all over the world actually. Um, Christine is the one that basically came up with the whole concept of uh, the winter wheat. She's actually the one that came up with most of the concepts for these uh, cards. Trip and wheat, the gravy wheat. Even the black light. Um, I had a few. I had a few ideas like the dead weight. I mean, I think mine's is the dead weight. I, I, you know. But then it's one of those things. Sometimes when you're discussing ideas with people, they throw in other ideas, and so it becomes. Well, all of these are more of a co-creators kind of. Obviously, these cards are created by two people, pretty much. But the winner weight has been a, a good seller for us. This is actually one of my favorite cards here. This is a wee card that was thrown in at the end. Um, I, don't, I don't want to say thrown in, but it's, it's a bonus card. It was originally meant to be a Three of Pentacles, but we had a few other... Well, it, this is a Three of Pentacles, but it's a bonus Three of Pentacles. I hope that people can understand that from the wee coins, uh, wee Pentacle coins things. Um, originally, let's just do the card a wee bit about what went into the deck and stuff. Um, this is three of coins. Um, let's see if I can find it all. Yeah, for, for the mummers. The mummers. Um, this is a, this is our main three of coins. But we added that 
and I did it as in as a bonus. Um, I can't remember why it became a bonus, but maybe because, well, probably because we like both of the cards and had to kind of choose between the two. This one here is the chariot card. It's a bit different. The chariot card. I, I you know, I thought that it would be a good idea to have kids on a wee sled. Just seemed more appropriate for Christmas. Um, and then in the 2019 version, we, uh, uh, I think we include this in the bon as a bonus in the, the 2019 version. And we bring back the Pamela, uh, Pamela Coleman Smith uh, original chariot for that, and just you know, Christmas, you know, winterize it a bit. So that is that's the cards. Right, where do I, I'll figure that out later. Two. That is a 2018 uh, winter weight. 